live from WCSH6, this is 207. Hi everybody and welcome to 207, I'm Rob Caldwell. And I'm Kathleen Shannon. Chef Annie Maley has tested her recipes on a top crowd, the crew and the guests of the main wind jammer J&E &E Reagan. She'll share some of her favorites with us tonight, rosemary chicken with dumplings. That sounds oh, yeah. tasty, it is tasty. Any time of year is good for comfort food, but I think winter just might be the best. Annie Maley, the author of the cookbook At Home at Sea and a writer for the Portland Press Herald, is with us back in the 207 kitchen with a classic comfort food dish. What are we making today, Annie? Rosemary chicken and dumplings. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do two different varieties, one that's quick for your family mm -hmm. and then one that's a slower cooking comfort kind of meal. All They're right. both comfort If we're food making fun. two, we better get cooking. Let's All right. begin. Well, this is the one that has chicken breasts and thighs that are boneless. Mm -hmm. And in go carrots, onions, and celery. Okie doke. Most of those vegetables are from either my garden that I root cellared or from the CSA that we buy from. What's the CSA? Community, community, community supported agriculture. All right, just for those of us who didn't know, like me, <laughs> I wanted to make that clear. So then ideally we would simmer that for a while okay. until the onions are translucent and the vegetables are soft. Okay. But in this case, we're going to add the wine. And so that's white wine. And then chicken, chicken stock. stock. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to add rosemary, which came from my garden. I've got the plants inside wintering inside parsley, which did not come from my garden, and thyme, which did. Oh, lovely, lovely. And you're putting in a pretty generous amount there of all of those spices. So right. You, li you like to have a goodly amount of all of those. I like there to be flavor, for one thing, and then there are herbs uh, that are not dried, so you can use more of them. Okay. Fresh herbs you can use more of. All right, that sounds good. All right, so then the lid goes back on that. We'll take the spoon out. And then... We've got the dumplings that will go into the other pot. Okay. Now I'm going to add milk to flour that I've sifted and butter that I've already cut in. And now the amount of milk that you add will vary depending on how dry your house is, how, where the flour came from. So that's why I don't often measure it. I've got a measurement, so and better, you'll be able to see that on the web. Better to start out putting in a modest amount, and then, well, how, right. do, how, do, you, how do you tell? You add some, and then, um, so if a recipe calls for half a cup, mm -hmm. add a little bit less than half a cup, and then stir it up and, and see. Now this needs just a teeny bit more. And how you tell is, I can see there's a little bit still of li li little bits that haven't been incorporated. Little dry flour there right. still, okay. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And then, um, I'm gonna add the parsley. Now you could add rosemary to this, you could add the thyme, any of them would be lovely. If so you just spice is desired. Yes, because it's flavor. All right, now let's put it into, into this, one? this other one. All right. Yeah, we'll put this up here. And then how this works is you just drop them in there. These are the easiest biscuits that you could make. So you don't have and to be fussy go, about the mm -hmm. shape or the form or nope. anything, you just plop them in No, there. this is comfort food, we All like right. that. No fussy. <laughs> So and they're so about, they're, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a little bit bigger than the size of, say, a golf ball. It's about how right. big you're making them. And then you just dot the top of the pot, just like that, okay. all the way around. Okay. And then the lid goes back on, all right. and you steam them for 10 minutes. Okay. Don't lift the lid up many times, because okay. otherwise they won't steam. Don't be checking. Right. So then, um, the next uh, little tip I want to give you is I've got some carrots in here, baby carrots again, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from the garden. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put these on the top. So once you've got your dumplings in there, mm -hmm. you can put the carrots on the top of your pot, put the lid back on, back on, and you can steam the carrots and the dumplings at the same time without using it extra. And will they sort of take on the flavor of the dumplings? Uh, a teeny bit. Just a little bit? A teeny bit. And okay. then I'd add um, a little salt and pepper at the end. Okay. Is that it? That's all. We made two different kinds just like that? Yes. All right. Very simple. All you have to do now is go to our website and get the recipe. Just go to WCSH6.com or WLBZ2.com. Go to the 207 Kitchen section and you'll get Annie Maley's recipe for the rosemary chicken and dumplings. So once the dumplings went in, you said 10 minutes. Right. And then everything is ready to go? That's right. This was too easy. I know. Forgot about that.
All right, we're ready to go. That's all you got to do now is eat it. Annie, thank you for coming in. You're a pleasure welcome. to have you here, as always. Go home and make your own chicken. Well, you're already home, so make your own chicken and dumplings. Enjoy them this time of year. They are absolutely wonderful. Stay with us. We'll be back with more of 207 in just a moment.